Tonight we are taking a look at this big problem. It's illegal dumping and things like tires just thrown out of trucks onto people's property. Take a look at this video we received from a viewer of someone illegally trashing a tire in an alleyway. What that person who's doing it may not know is the property owner is charged for their wrongdoing. And as you can imagine, people we are talking to about this are fed up. Disgusted, peeled, mad. We care for our property as all of our neighbors do. And it's disgusting. A couple in Sherman Park is sick of being a dump site for people who don't want to take their stuff to the trash. Rebecca Clough goes in depth on the consequences of illegal dumping. A Milwaukee couple says their tall fence has become the prime hiding place for people to come and dump their trash. Pull up, step out and dumped a bunch of stuff in our alley. Diane and Pat Torok feel like they're constantly being dumped on. Yeah, they do trash, but I tires, do. there's a half a couch one time, there's, you know, it's, it, it's persistent. But this past week was the topper. Diane and Pat called TMJ4 News when they saw this on their security camera. You see a big white truck pull into their alley and park behind their fence. You then see people unload five mattresses and leave them stacked up against their garage door. You guys come out here. What do you see? Uh, five mattresses uh, badly stacked, <laughs> plus the tires that had already been there. The mattresses blocked in Diane's car, and the couple had to figure out how to move them. We masked, gloved, boots, and <laughs> touched, and then went and showered. They were nasty <laughs> yeah. mattresses. They called the city and reported the illegal oh dumping. And even though it was reported, the couple found this slapped to their door. A citation for the stuff in the alley and threats of a fine if they didn't remove all the trash. The Torox say they're lucky they bought a security camera which showed the city they didn't dump it. Otherwise, they might be paying for someone else. Oh yeah, we yeah, had the, we had to have we got the, the ticket. Illegal dumping is an issue in Milwaukee the I-Team has covered for months. Although there are often hundreds of complaints, very few citations are issued. In 2019, there were 266 complaints, according to the Department of Neighborhood Services. Last year, 411 complaints. So far this year, 352. When you compare that to the citations written, there are only 21 in 2019, 24 last year, and only 10 so far this year. How do you feel about this? Disgusted, peeled, mad. We care for our property as all of our neighbors do, and it's disgusting. It's not a problem unique to Milwaukee. Cities across the country deal with people dumping more than just litter. In San Jose, California, they're considering paying homeless people from federal COVID funds to clean up areas of blight. In Temple, Texas, a nonprofit dropped dumpsters in 18 neighborhoods during the pandemic, telling people they could get rid of hard to dispose of items. They collected nearly 350 tires and 30,000 pounds of trash. Right now, Diane we and Pat still have tires that someone dumped a couple days ago. If the city doesn't pick them up either, the Torex or their neighbors will have to haul them and pay three bucks a tire to throw out someone else's trash. We didn't put them there. They're now ours. If they have trash, put it in the trash. The Department of Neighborhood Services is trying to stop illegal dumping. They're asking if you see it report it either by calling the city or reporting it online. We have the links to that information at TMJ4.com. Reporting in Milwaukee, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News. What a mess.